Pluto, a past planet that was scaled back to a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest and study in the astronomical community, as demonstrated by later figures by leading researchers. Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's, and astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potentially dangerous effect between these two planets, which could pose a critical risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is not like any other planet in our solar system. It requires a dazzling 248 years to complete a single orbit, truly meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution yet. The interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its exceptionally curved shape, wandering altogether from the near-circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more curious is its tilt, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its orbit is significantly more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and unpredictability add layers of complexity to its orbital design. One of the most interesting parts of Pluto's orbit is its intersection point with Neptune's orbit. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws closer to the Sun than Neptune, standing in contrast to what we might expect based on their positions in the solar system. This prompts the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its strange path. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie mostly near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit protrudes with its steep inclination and elongated shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is evidence of the intricate mechanics of space. The three-body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with each other due to their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how the way they pull on each other works. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms alpha libration and degree relibration along with the VZK oscillation, are key to solving this puzzle, as shown by astrophysicists. What keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is critical in preventing their orbits from crossing. Expansion libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned well above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another significant consideration is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers, von Zeipel, Kozai, and Lidov, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This gravitational force impacts how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK oscillation explains why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite its seemingly erratic path, this oscillation helps keep Pluto moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK oscillation shows that even though things in space may appear chaotic and random, some patterns and forces keep everything together. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or get lost. This three-body problem is crucial for understanding how orbits change due to how space objects pull on one another. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant stars and planets. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is actually chaotic, with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to huge changes over time. However, these strange properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extremely long time scales, keeping the chaos in check. Recent computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, 
where, for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This resonance stabilizes Pluto's orbit. But Neptune isn't the only factor. Jupiter's gravity also plays a huge role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes too. These studies show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto remains on a stable path for an extended period, potentially even billions of years. So, it's like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to make sure Pluto continues to move safely in space without getting into trouble. These peculiarities are fundamental in the larger context of the universe, keeping everything in order and maintaining stability in the motion of celestial bodies. Without these components, the solar system as we know it would be a much more turbulent place, with bodies like Pluto possibly crashing into others or being flung out of their stable orbits, leading to a cascading effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, particularly in discussions about its potential impact with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of balance. Through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics, it also highlights the importance of continued observation and study of these peculiarities to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this phenomenon. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a body's path on its initial conditions, is clearly illustrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in Pluto's position or speed can dramatically alter its long-term trajectory. Within the vast region of our solar system, Pluto occupies a unique position that challenges our understanding of planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its composition and behavior. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and various compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided incredible data about this distant world. Pluto's surface is characterized by vast fields, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a massive heart-shaped plane primarily made of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of geological features, including large ice blocks and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto could still be geologically active despite its great distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another fascinating aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, which is primarily composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin but shows intriguing seasonal variations. As Pluto draws closer to the Sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and become more dynamic. This behavior reflects the complex interaction between Pluto and its atmosphere. During Pluto's closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The relationship between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that the two bodies orbit a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply orbiting Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the gravitational dynamics of the area, influencing the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a reservoir of ancient material from the early solar system, offering scientists a glimpse into its development. Pluto's orbital characteristics may provide insights into the movement patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a key role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital elements is its potential impact on our understanding of the solar system's evolution. Gravitational influences from nearby giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. 
Such interactions can lead to changes in orbits, potentially causing collisions or ejection from the solar system. As researchers continue to study these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies across the universe. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about order in cosmology. The decision to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 sparked debates about what defines a planet. The International Astronomical Union's definition focused on criteria such as orbital dominance and size, leaving many to consider the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discussion reflects our evolving understanding of the universe and underscores the need for a flexible approach to categorizing celestial bodies. Furthermore, the potential for future exploration of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With advances in technology and mission planning, Scientists are considering sending additional spacecraft to study Pluto as well as other objects with similar orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable information about the primordial materials that shaped our solar system, potentially shedding light on the origins of life on Earth. The role of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, is another captivating area of study that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As astronomers discover an increasing number of exoplanets, particularly those in the habitable zones of their stars, the lessons learned from studying our own solar system may aid in developing theories about planetary formation and habitability. Finally, public interest in Pluto has remained strong. Fueled by its mysterious status and the stunning images returned by the New Horizons mission, the dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people worldwide, inspiring a renewed appreciation for the vastness of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies that share its corner of the universe, we are reminded of the awe-inspiring wonders the cosmos has to offer. Does Pluto's remarkable nature extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a crucial case study for understanding planetary development and the dynamics of celestial bodies. Pluto's evolution is believed to have occurred in the early solar system alongside other Kuiper Belt objects. Studying its composition can provide insights into the conditions that prevailed during the formative stages of the solar system, potentially shedding light on the formation of Earth-like planets. Later research suggests that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean, a discovery that could alter our understanding of its geology and possibly support life. New Horizons data revealed that some regions of Pluto's surface, such as the icy mountains, might be made of water ice, which behaves differently than typical rock at low temperatures. This discovery invites further exploration into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its frozen crust, raising intriguing questions about the potential for life even in such extreme conditions. Additionally, Pluto's relationship with its atmosphere can offer insights into atmospheric science. The seasonal changes in its thin atmosphere provide a natural laboratory for studying atmospheric cycles on a planetary scale. Researchers are